interesting. Oh, micro. Make a change here. Can you hear me now? Yes, you can. That's a little weird. Anyway, um, the game we're playing today is called Escape Velocity Nova. It is a game from quite a while ago. I think um, that it uh, was put out. Let's just go open the Wikipedia page here. In 2002, and it was the first of the Escape Velocity series to be released for Windows. Now, uh, it was a very old, um, the previous versions were uh, old versions of, uh, for Mac, and this was one of the uh, first games of this type that I ever played, and I love this series. So, we're, I'm going to see about playing through, trying to play through all three main storylines for, um, for this game on stream, and we'll see what the world has to say about that. Probably not a whole lot, but anyway. Um, let us get going. Let's just bring up chat so I can see what's going on. And because this game is at uh, um, 1040 by uh, um, uh, 1024 by 768, it uh, is going to be smaller than the source you normally used to. And because I'm not changing my uh, bitrate, it's going to look really quite good, regardless of what you're doing. Uh, so, um, I already have a pilot that I was playing with, um, but I'm going to start a new one, so um, so that I can get all of the uh, basic stuff, and you guys can get a bit of an idea of, about this. This is a text-only game. There is no audio uh, to it, so I'm going to be reading out pretty much all of the audio, uh, all the text, and uh, that's going to make for a lot of reading on my part, because there's places that it gets quite big. So, let's get going. So, uh, we have a new pilot here. Um, yeah, I really do want to create a new one. Um, our full name is going to be Random Name Generator. Ran. And... Um, uh, if I do end up end up uh, typing into chat, I am going to uh, probably be talking into uh, in caps because to double speed I have to turn on ca caps locks. Um, also, we're not going to be playing with strict play uh, because I'm not a masochist. I really, really don't feel like redoing a large round of things. I'm going to spend a lot of time in this game. Okay, um, so let's just go and pull up a uh, name, and all we want is first name only, masculine, surname, at random, generate a new name. Wilkie Ainsworth is what, what it came up with. That is our name. Okay, I can't paste it in, so... Hey, I.E. Ainsworth... And our nickname, as always, is going to be Vercoca. So, we click OK. And our first ship, we will leave as the default name. If there actually isn't anyone in chat, we will uh, let chat pick the name from here on out. So, uh, we start off with Willie Ainsworth. Our, our ship name is Ring of Glory. It's a shuttle version A, basically the crappiest ship in the game. Actually, not quite. You can get a deprecated version of this, which is even worse. But it's, you'd have to actually buy it, and that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. So I have no record, no comment ability, and the current date is June 23rd, which, funnily enough, is the date today, but it's 1177 NC. We will see how long it takes me to do this, how many years uh, in-game it takes me to do this, because jumping between systems increments the date, and landing on a planet's too. So, let's enter ship. Mankind has colonized the stars. The early explorers launched themselves and their followers into the void, with little or no idea of what the future would hold. Many were never heard from again, till a genius named Omata Kane came to the fore. Kane designed the, and orchestrated the constructions of the Hypergate system. Hypergates were meant to 
means of linking systems light years apart with wormhole technology. A great boom of colonization began, and the dark reaches of space were suddenly not so dark nor so distant. The ruling body of humanity, the Colonial Council, grew rich from the colonies. The lifeblood of the Council was the Hypergate system. But the Colonial Council grew corrupt, and the sickness of that corruption spread through the entire layer of society. Pirate attacks became more prevalent, criminals flourished, and politicians became military governors. The emasculated Council could do nothing. Terrorists destroyed the Soul Hypergate and crippled the network. Overnight, entire systems were cut off from civilization, and society was thrown into a state of anarchy. Few could have foreseen the events that, have, that followed. Warlords arise, empires sprung up and collapsed just as quickly. And all the while, the people of the galaxy suffered in a new dark age. Planets sank into feudal states, and much technology was lost, seemingly forever. Yet from this chaos, order rose. A newly reformed council advanced faster than light technology, and slowly regained contact with the lost worlds of ha humanity. Over time, the core systems of human space formed a new ruling body, the Federation. Life is now ch a cheap commodity in a dangerous universe. The south to the south lies the Auroran Empire, a savage race. The my mysterious Polaris hold the east, while north and west are unexplored. You have just purchased your first ship. A shell that hope you hope will lead to better things. You are ready to start your maiden voyage. The universe with all its diverse beauty and terror awaits you, Captain. And I'm in a ship. So they're telling me to dock at Point Kane. This is the uh, tutorial, and we'll go through it. Um, I'm only going to do this the first time around, so um, I'm going to skip that first intro and the tutorial um, at uh, the next time I go around. So, as you wander around a spaceport for the first time, as a fully-fledged captain, a weather-beaten man, in his early fifties by the looks of him, comes over. You look a little lost, my boy, he drawls in a gravelly voice. You look like I did when I just had, first taken, had ta just taken my first flight as a ship captain. Mind you, that was nearly thirty years ago, but I never forgot that day. "'Tis a grand feeling being a captain of a starship, and the first landfall is something you'll never forget. You smile and admit that you've indeed just made your maiden voyage, and he slaps you on the shoulder with a wide grin. "'Congratulations, son,' he says, shaking your hand with a genuine ro uh, regard for, before stepping back and looking at you with an almost calculating look on his face. <laughs> When I first made landfall, I remember running into a guy by the name of Gary, and he was just looking to settle down after plying the spaceways for a few decades. In exchange for passage, he showed me the ropes and how to get started in this crazy universe of ours. Well, I guess that what comes from around goes around, he smiles, nodding at you. So I guess I'll make the same off to you. What do you say? So I'm going to say yes, because, again, it's the tutorial. Um, I'm actually thinking right now, Gary, there are two previous games in this series, and uh, there are people that show you around at the beginning of those, and I'm guessing the one in Override, which is the game before this, was Gary. So you're talking to the captain you played the previous time. Um, we'll see about that, because there are mods for uh, for this that integrate the, uh, the old uh, game game uh, stories and uh, the galaxies into it and we'll play those eventually once we finish the three campaigns for uh, Nova uh, major campaigns for Nova and uh, we'll see it then if I even remember at that point in time so yes um, yeah I don't know how much of this I'll, I'll read um, out loud I really should but Okay, it'll be good to pass on some of these things I learned, he smiles, a distant look in his eyes, and I think old Gary, bless his heart, will be smiling wherever he is. Well, he continues after a short moment of reverie, enough living in the past, it's the future we need to look at. <coughs> Eventually I want to head over to Don Roman in the journey's end, sir, some, but I, I'll tell you what, let's head to Earth in the Soul System and we'll take it from there. To do that... Just click the OK button below, then on the Leave button in the main spaceport. Once you're back out in space, I'll ha if you have kept the factory settings for your keys, if not, use the key settings you decided on, hit the M key to bring up the map and start pl plotting course towards Sol, the system with the red arrow pointing at it. To help you out with this, I'll enter the Sol's coordinates for my pocket comp. 
When you, you're ready, he continues quietly, accelerate out to a safe distance from the center of the system and hit the J key <coughs> to make the jump to hyperspace. Repeat this as often as you have to. If you uh, find yourself in a system that doesn't link in the direction you want, just backtrack a little and you'll find... And if you run uh, out of energy, just land somewhere to, and refuel. Now, you got to be a little careful about this because you do have a certain amount of refueling that needs to do happen. And um, let's just bring up OBS for a second. Um, I don't know how I'm going to moderate that. That's going to be annoying. Uh, because the sounds in here are quite loud, at least in my ears. I'll have to rewatch this. Anyway, we're going to leave here. Um, yeah, I, I know how to do that. Um, so, uh, he wants me to get out. So, let's uh, start this moving. Uh, I'm glad he gave us that map, but I don't actually need it. I knew where Sol was. Um, if you hold down shift, you can make multiple jumps to plan a, a route. And done. And we're just gonna accelerate out here. And we're already at the maximum speed. And we're just gonna jump. I want to get a Viking as fast as I can. Okay, hold on a second. I want to see about yeah, bringing these down a bit for the stream. Uh, just bring the sounds down a little bit for you guys on stream. And this is Earth. It has a uh, band around it. As soon as you land, Barry gives you a hand to shut down your ship, telling stories about the times that he, he didn't complete his post-flight routine and about all the troubles he had because of it. Well, maybe we should make a start, he mumbles, rubbing out his chin. How about we head over to the Trade Center? Click on Trade Center button after you... Yeah, okay, I think we're going to skip the tutorial bits, um, and we'll get begin the tutorial, I guess. So, um... Uh, first of all, I'm going to recharge, because I don't have a recharger yet. So he said shipyard, right? No, nope, no, nope, outfitter. Trade center, great. Uh, this is the lifeboat of our civilization, draws Barry, as you walk around the warehouse. It is uh, here that most fortunes are made, and most, uh, more than a few are lost. It's not very exciting, but it can be lucrative, if you stick to, to it for long enough. You see, he explains in his gravelly voice, some places have high, high prices for certain things, and others have low values for them. Different places have different values. Uh, you make money by selling and high, low, buying low and selling high. Sometimes you can even buy medium and sell high, but, or buy low and sell medium, but obviously the profits margins will be lower. Over time, you will start to identify trade runs. To give you a head start, he continues with a quiet, dry smile. I'll show you a couple of easy runs that should get you started. What do you say? And obviously, sure. Okay, then, he, he draws. In the spirit of buying low and selling high, looking at the prices often on Earth, you can see that the price of medical supplies is low. So a good start would be buy as much of those as you could carry. Now, normally, <coughs> he explains shrugging, you would then look around for a while for a place to sell the goods you bought. But I happen to know that Port Kane has a pretty high demand for medical supplies at the minute. So I reckon we should head there. And once there, I'll show you how to make a little money on the way back. If you want to make a little money in the meantime, you could try buying some, some medical supplies. So, sure, we'll do it. Medical supplies. Bye. And that fills up my ten tons of space. Hey, leave. And let's head back to where we came from. Port Kenya. Done. And let's get out of here. So... We're going to jump. Yeah. <coughs> and let's land on Port Kane. There we go. Helping you through your post-fight routine, Barry points the way to the Port Kane Trade Center. Let's head over there. He draws quietly. It'll be easier to explain what I need uh, need to from there. So, Trade Center. Uh, so he's basically saying that 
obviously sell, and then uh, we're heading over to New England. I'm not going to read these these tutorial ones anymore. This is just driving me nuts. I will do any of the uh, story-based ones, though. Okay, let's sell. Um, and uh, we're... Let's buy... Equipment, recharge. And I do buy it, and it was at least medium, so let's go. No, out of here we get. No, I can't, Valkyrie. You're out to lunch if you think I'm going to help you in a shuttle. Okay, hold on a second. Let me do something here. I need to turn my volume down quite a bit. So I can actually not be transmitting the sounds through and hear myself think. Okay, and let's keep going. Now we're going to land on Earth. Do note when you're coming in from uh, Viking. Okay. Um, the uh, planet that was up there is Mars. Uh, you can accidentally target the landing for the Mar Mars. <coughs> it's better to wait a little bit longer. So, um, um, I got to go to New England. That's lovely. <coughs> I wasn't supposed to land there. Oh, well, refuel me. I don't know. Wrong one. I meant to, uh, unfortunately, taking that off changes my navigation computer, so let's go to the Port Cain. Or not Port Cain, uh, Wolf 3. New England here. And uh, after watching you privately as you go through the post fight routine, very starts walking into you to that. Let's face it. Blah blah blah. Not Mission Trade Center. Wants me to head back to Earth, so we can start on the good stuff. Well, let's uh, sell these. And a good train run doesn't do a three three way. Well, it does a two way back and forth. There are a couple that I know of, so we are not going to um, starve any day time soon. But I want to <sighs> and I don't want to land on Mars, I want to land on Earth, so let's land on Earth. And yeah, head to the outfitters. Great. Outfitters. Um, yeah, Gravimax and Cyrus's IFF decoder and auto recharger. Those are the ones he's advising for. Um, there's military bands and stuff you have to get uh, things. I'll explain most of this as I play. Uh, he wants me to go to Roth or Uh, I think this may be another one for... Uh, things, but we'll recharge. I really do actually want to go for the uh, things by the Gravimax sensor, the recharger, and the decoder, as well as if I can. Uh, can I afford a solar panel? I barely can, but I really don't want to. <coughs> um, I really don't want that either. Solar panels let you recharge them when you're gone uh, while you're traveling. So it means you can't actually run out of fuel. Um, Arthur and the Rytherian, if I'm not mistaken, is up that way. I don't feel like spending money on a map either. I'm so used to keeping my hand on the mouse that um, this game, which is mostly keyboard controlled, except for in the menus, is um, 
is throwing me off. Okay, Rother, and because of the uh, in our, the upper section, you can see that yellow dot is the landable planet. Well, the uh, inhabited planet. You can actually land. There's another moon there, or old space station we could land on, but I don't want to. Uh, he wants to go over and see what refits they have here. Great, they have new refits. They have some better ones like the uh, grab missile launchers. Those are expensive, and I can't afford them right now. Okay, so he... Mission BBS or the bar? Yeah, he wants to go to the bar. Uh, fitter is great. Yeah, bar. the bar is basically where you get some missions. Yeah, he wants me to go out and ship shoot the uh, the old Viper, which is, since I can see it on my map, because I have that, right there, and since I really don't want to I'll get close enough so I don't have to think about this, oh well, I'm not going to be able to get it completely stopped, so. I have not played this game in a while, so my shooting is going to be pretty pathetic. It always was anyway, but uh, that was probably not the best plan. I not tar I'm targeted. Let's target him. Um, and he get keeps getting pushed out of my. Head. There he goes. Explode. Um, if you're actually too close to them, um, hold on a second.
Sorry about that, that was a phone call. My father has perfect timing. So, uh, let's get going again. Um, uh, Derelict Viper, uh, before handing down to Viking. I don't want to go to Viking. Viking is a pain in the ass. At least in this smaller ship. Right, we're gonna stop, to stop in Seoul because I don't have enough fuel to do that. So. Yep. of fuel. Luckily enough, I did plan this, and we're in a uh, system with uh, with a planet, at which point the auto recharger means I don't have to press that recharge button anymore, and I can gladly forget about it. Uh, albeit, it does automatically take money out of my pocket, but <clears throat> um, what it means is if I can get myself into a system like this, that does not have a uh, place I can land, or somewhere that won't let me land, um, I can get in a fair amount of trouble and I have to wait for somebody to come by. Which, in some systems, that, you know, that I can pay to fit, refuel, in some systems, that's very hard. And I think I'm slowing down here. Uh, I think it's the pirate. Uh, no, it's this. Uh, I don't want to get hit by any of that. I'm not in something that would be able to take the hit. I think breaking is that good. So, um, yeah, yeah, that was actually kind of set up. Yeah, the Aurorans come into the system. Then this is Kenya. Then you have the Pol Polaris. He's telling where everything is. Um. Yeah, pirates up north. I know where they are. Uh, yeah, and we go have a look at the shipyard. Great, the ships. Uh, now we head back to view things. So we're heading back to Earth. Um, yeah, I think I might want a pirate star bridge before I actually start on the the uh, storylines. So we're gonna see about getting towards that. It's gonna take a little while, but I don't think too long. Yeah, something is good. Those are radar. The radar don't hit you if uh, if you're not their target, which is nice. So let's uh, done. Jump there. I do think he pays me for this at the end of it. The problem is he pays me for it at the end of it, not not at the beginning. So. Out of curiosity, no, I can't move it up onto that. Uh, great. And uh, he wants to show me the mission BBS. Great, it's a mission BBS. Uh, we can very buried in Don Roman, which is the thing he wants. And it doesn't tell me how much he's gonna pay me. That's great. Um. And I don't. Colan is over and on a different direction. So let's leave and go up here. If I'm not mistaken, it is up that way. And let's jump it that way. It doesn't actually matter which direction you leave a system from. Um, when jumping, it will uh, take you where you want to go. And you'll notice that up in the uh, minimap in the top left, so everything is orange. That means they're not hostile to me, but I can't lay in there because I don't have permission. And uh, the only time that makes a difference is when you are. Uh... Oh, there's a Marauder. I want to land before he finishes off whatever he's going to be fighting or dies. 
Which is what he did. He died. So, great. Miss the kind old man. He didn't pay me. That's a pain in ass. Okay, so, mission B BBS. Uh, ferry passengers doesn't take any. And delivery of 10. So, I got uh, 20,000 from that. But, how many uh, jumps is it? Four. Two. Three. And four. So, I have to make a second trip. However... Outfitter, does it have a uh, battery pack? Yes, let's buy the battery pack. Done. Recharge it. That gives me four jumps. And um, I didn't pick them up, so let's do that right now. Accept this, and accept this, and leave. And uh, let's make a jump down here. And I think I'm going to want another battery pack because the trade run I want to make to you is five jumps long. Yeah, Marauder, I don't want to have anything to do with you. How to, I think, is a smaller one. Yeah, tattoo is a smaller one. These aren't rush missions, so passengers and dock workers mission BBS. Greenwich is it that way? I don't have a. Yeah, it's not off this. Glay Technica is off that way. I don't have a map to it. I'm not dealing with that. I, see these special ones? If you can find their trade route, they're not bad, but, um, yay! Woman, by, uh, so this is a UNS, United Shipping. So, as you step out of your hatch, you're approached by a woman wearing a blue back uniform. You're Wilkie Ainsworth, Captain of the Ring of Glory, she asks quietly, and you nod. Curious, I'm Samantha Verana. Uh, and I am in representative of the Korea Company, United Shipping. We specialize in moving around small, valuable collar cargoes like jewelry, business papers, and contracts, etc. We have recently been on the lookout for new pilots who are willing to work for us. Are you interested? Uh, yes, because these are actually pretty lucrative. <laughs> Excellent, she exclaimed, smiling widely. Well, it, as it happens, we need someone to head over to Space Dock. Uh, uh, run in the ga gateway system to pick up two tons of personal effects for a client on Haven in the Aldebaran system. This particular mission has no real deadline, which is slightly unusual, as most of our clients want their merchandise delivered by a set time. Anyway, Samantha grins happily, another United Shipping representative will meet you at the other end and will brief you further on what to do next. I'm sure you'll s I'll see you around in the future, Wilkie Ainsworth. Uh, with that, she gets up, shakes your hand, and leaves. So, I just got a, mi uh, a mission through the bar, which is what I was actually going to the bar for. Uh, you could do several things. You can gamble. This is the only video in the entire game, so I'm going to bet on the red one and it looks like the green one won so I lose the I think thousand uh, the uh, thousand I put into it so uh, we can hire an escort, escort there's no ships to hire but it would give you a shipyard type thing to hire people uh, the uh, cost of initial investment as well as the cost per jump so they're actually pretty good for uh, getting up an early uh, 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 f fleet so that you can do some trading. Um, and then Holovid, which tells you that, uh, the, uh, Orion Federation raids, um, they're telling that there's going to be battle in this system, which, to be absolutely honest, I'm not entirely sure where that is. But if I had to guess, it would be down in here somewhere. And the real pain in the ass I have right now is that, um, actually, let's land, uh, no, leave. Let's, uh, go up here and land and see if there's an outfitter. There is not. Um, 
actually land. Space warp one, nothing for space warp none. Leave. So, the problem with this particular mission uh, right now is that I'm in the smallest ship in the game. If I come out across the runs in the uh, system I'm going to, I am. Um, oh, do I remember? I have two. I have to make a guess here. Those, uh, some of that stuff is not. See, I took damage. It's not. I can't land at any of these. See, I'm going to be pretty close to screwed in a second. Um, I need to turn. I'm both. My shields are gone and a good portion of my health is gone, so... Um... See, this is why I hate this particular. I have no fuel. I should have stopped in Seoul. I really should have. Talking request denied. So I have to talk to them. Offer bribe. Accept price because I have no choice. So I just spent 4000 for that screw up. That's fine. My outfitter is going to have a solar panel, which I can afford. <sighs> Didn't want to have to do that. Anyway, um, might run out of money here. I might end up drifting for a while to make up fuel. I came very close. I'm not. See, this is why I hate not knowing what's going on around me. Oh shit. Get out of range. Not only get out of range, get out of the, the sector of fire of that freaking station. That's not a good plan. Oh. Um. Yeah, he's firing on that. And the station is firing on that. You get away from all this shit. It's not safe. Not in this ship, anyway. Okay, so upon landing, you head over to the Dockmaster's office to inquire if the package you are supposed to be picking up is available. You exit the delivery office and you quickly find your package and ha hand it over. Great. I get personal effects. I have two tons. Uh, let's go to the outfitter. No, I don't have. Uh, they've got stuff, but I don't really have any use for it. Okay, so where do I have to go? I have to go up there. So it's one, three, or because I'm going to have to refuel there. And let's get the hell away before whatever that is jumps in. And if you just hold down the jump key, which is J, at this point, you will jump anywhere uh, automatically when entering a system. So, this should get me to Seoul, and then this Primus. You'll notice the little darker gray section. That's the solar panel charging my batteries for jumping. I don't actually care which one I land on, but whichever one's closest. So, I just want to refuel. Oh, crap. Let's see, the problem is he's now going to... Loot my money, then possibly destroy me. And 
not that stupid rebel is going to kill me. Or something. I don't know. So, let's open our pilot. We'll key in first. Enter ship. So, I gotta make that run again. See, I, th this is why we didn't do hard, because I'm gonna get my ass kicked in certain systems. And I really don't want to have to start up 80 pilots to do so. Do the story. See, there's a battle going on. And, um, yeah, I want to keep away from that. Just do that. That's why I want to keep away from that. Thank you, asteroid. Uh, where am I going? I am going to space, uh, space dock one, which I think is that. <laughs> Not mistaken. Well, what I'm doing here is landing. Okay, it's not face dock one. That resets the system so that I don't have to worry about it. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it resets the system properly. No. Space Dock 1. Is it the big bit? Oh. I'm stopping over here. Those are both freelancers and traders and pirates, and the f that fleet is going to beat the living shit out of whichever one is left. So, yeah, I want to keep out of the resulting fire. Um, they're going to be past what I hope is the Space Dock in a minute. So, let's go see. There we go, we've got what we want. <coughs> and they transfer 10,000 credits. Let's go. You were met by a man, man wearing the same blue black uniform that Samantha had been wearing. My name is Sean Clark. He introduces himself as he shakes your hand. Welcome to United Shipping. I take it you have the package? You nod and begin unfolding your cargo with, with the aid uh, of nearby dock workers. Well done, he compliments you when you are finished. I'll uh, take care of this one for you, but in the future all deliveries will be taken to the deliveries office and the staff there will notify you, uh, notify the intended recipient of the arrival of their package. We have given you the access to the United Shipping missions through Mission BBS, he informs you seriously. Obviously some missions will be more valuable than others. I'm sure you'll notice that as time goes on. We have now logged you as the UNS shipping courier, and so if you're ever in need of assistance, you can call in the aid of any nearby UNS UN shipping ships. They will offer aid. You very rarely see them, so it's not a difference. We make sure to, uh, uh, make sure we look out after our own, because precious few others are prepared to look after us. Speaking of looking after our own, I have authorized the transfer of 10,000 credits into your account. In the future, we will automatically be uh, forward to your you are upon completion of delivery. We wish you luck, Captain Wilkie Ainsworth. He f finishes shaking his ha your hand again. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. And that should have opened up these. Now, there's time limits to these, and it's currently August 18th, and they want it on the 7th. And where does that go? Over there. I can't do that. I absolutely can't. I won't be able to do any of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, I might, uh, a month to take it there. No, it's not. Uh, oh, pick it up in Viking. That's right. I've got, these have, have a pick up and a drop off. So not only do I have to do, do, uh, this, but then I have to do that. So, no, I can't do any of those. It's a 50,000 one, so it's an extra sharp, like an extra quick one. Um, Hergen is there. One, two, three, four. I could do that. 15,000. Fermia. 
is our tourist, but that's a dangerous system. I don't like that system. Um, Hargan, accept, leave. Let's go to the Hargan system. Done. Leave, and I want to get going as fast as I can because I'm going to be in the middle of a battle if I'm not. I'm in too small a ship to take any major chances right now. So far as Hargan, I know there's a uh, planet there. You always have the chance of marauders in places, but in general, there are things that will uh, take care of that. Um, but the further you get out from Seoul, the more dangerous things get. Delivery to Cornwall. I accept that one. I know where that is. Is up there, but which is fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop at Seoul um, because I don't have enough for a battery pack. I don't know space for a battery pack as well. Don't leave. I guess I'm doing the uh, the uh, trade run a little later than I thought. We're also going to look for a, a ship while we're here. See if I can get a heavy shuttle. Shipyard! Uh, yeah, I don't want a Viper because it has even less uh, cargo space than I have. Uh, it's worse than it is. What I really would like to get to is a Star Bridge before, or a Pirate Star Bridge before I, uh, I get there, but I need 500,000. I'm only at 26. So... Let's check, uh, see, these are nice because you get 20,000 instead of 15. Delivery, if I had more space, I could do that. Uh, surprised, actually, it takes less than 10 tons. They don't usually do that. Uh, and every time you take off and land, it reshuffles these, so. Um, I'm actually going to go have a quick look at Mars, because it has a shipyard, and uh, the ships there are generally smaller and passing it. It's the unmoving asteroid. Kinda. Land at Mars. And shipyard. One shuttle used. <laughs> See, this is what it is. Uh, it has less space and less cargo. You don't want to buy this. That's absolutely useless. Leave. Pretty sure it, yeah, it reshuffles. So, a heavy shuttle used has 14 tons of cargo. It's better than what I have, but I get, see, I'll probably get this at one point. Um, it's not what I want though. Is this, see, it's cheaper, but, and I think I can probably affect the other one, but I don't uh, want to see. I'm thinking pretty out of it, the range of it. See, the thing is, what you've got to be careful about doing this is that you're not, um, because it's incrementing the time. You're not on a time mission when you're doing this. This, yeah, this is the cheap one. I want one of the better... Yeah, see, what I have in it, they're trying to sell me the exact same thing I have in it, but I have more for more so yeah no uh yeah leave leave anyway let's uh keep going one two done and actually i should have went out this way because it's a little bit faster Careful, 
systems like this um, that I don't um, uh, Cornwall. Cornwall's the first one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Goliath's the first one. So I have to go like so. Click on, on that and land. <coughs> right. Um. Yeah, see Rigel's there. I don't actually want, um. Fermion and Arcturus. Don't want any of these. I don't remember if it shuffles. Yes, it does. Shuffle them. I'll take. Um, I don't think these. Oh, to Rother. That's. Uh, that one, that's why. See, these two should be the same food versus equipment, and all that is is just what it says. Um, codec is right there, I really don't want that. Let's accept, and let's leave, because that's a fairly simple one. One, two, three, and four. I can do it on the fuel I have right now. Basically what I'm doing is I'm getting up enough to do a heavy shuttle, at which point I'm probably going to see about doing some short runs of this. I have enough room to do enough jumps that I can then do enough runs for opals. Load my shipment. Yay! And BBS. I don't think that one's actually that bad. Um, I don't think there's anything low on here. Yeah. Uh, heavy shuttle. I can afford one. I get cash back. Which will let me buy some upgrades. Which is actually not that bad. Oh, see, this is the good one. This is the pre one that comes with pre the pre stuff on it. And no one in chat, so this is going to be the venture. I don't know, just the venture. Okay, so. Let's go to the outfitter. Buy, buy, and buy. Brings me down to 48. Um, that's just the heavy shuttle info. It has four jumps already. So, I've got 15 tons. So, let's go to the outfitter. Um, the run I want to make is jumps like that you can buy maps too um, so this the, will give you a map of everything that's two jumps from from this system so one two it would give a map of that um, I don't really need them. There's sometimes it's useful to buy those, but not really. I think I'm gonna stick with 23,000. Uh, mining laser is 10,000. I might want to do that. It's a pain in the ass. The asteroid screw is 10. Uh, 20. I don't have enough space for it. I'll do the runs first because you can go mine. Asteroids, like these asteroids. Well, not that one, but like that has water in it. There's metallic asteroids. But what I want to do is this. I know. Let's turn on cap locks to make things go a little bit faster. Before I forget about it. Planet 
planet I want to land on is not that one, but rather this one. It's Gem, because it sells opals. Um, that's by five, and the full fifty. That right, gets me eight thousand. So I was at twenty-three, a little less than twenty-three before, and I know where I'm going, so I have a bit of a bonus for this because I have played this game before. This is what one of the uh, safest trade routes with semi-high yield. And I need to go here. It's only four, is it? Oh well, I can live with that. And the trade center because you uh, go from 960 to 1500. So I ha made about 5,000 off of that. Now, there is no um, goods on the way back, which makes it kind of not as good, but um, Rill is way up there, no, Rother is up there, Las Vegas is down there, Sirius Prime is up there. See, I make 5,000 per run, and these are probably better runs to make for now. Let's accept that one. Um, it's going to take us through Alfara, but hopefully that's... Uh, and you think I'm going to hold on off, off on the Opal runs for a little while, because they're only making me about 6,000, and a mission can make me 15. See? It's not a completely safe run, as you can see. But a bigger ship makes that run really quite profitable. Okay, so I'm 45. Um, Greenwich is where it's down there. Not the safest. But, uh, uh, see, yeah, let's accept that. Um, Eve, Eve, and go. And what it is is. You Federation. He started shooting at them, so it stopped paying attention to me. That's always uh, Alita. The Altera system. Where the hell is that? It's way the hell up there. Four, five, six. Don't have quite enough for that. It's uh, also 18,000. Um. Technic, uh, see, this is a problem with getting somewhere in here. It's not very se central. It's things get further away. One, two, three, four, done. Accept. Gotta make sure you accept them before you leave, too. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that is well industrial slow, but um, I'm not gonna make nearly very much money from that. Done. So let's go. There are things that make this faster, but they're considerably further out in the game. Um, which one do I need to go to? I need to go to Trusa, which is the planet. And let's go mission. Uh, Speak Direct 3 is in the Alfara, which is the one in there. It's not as dangerous, 
but and I don't want to ferry trans uh, passengers. Um, the one thing you have to realize is that while I can't normally land on the uh, the uh, places on this planet right now, um, if you can get a mission there, you can go to those places. And some of them, because they're space docks, have like ship guards that sell half decent things. Um, not really great. I don't generally go to them, but. Uh, but uh, they do not badly. Like this outfitter is a half decent outfitter. It's got all the licenses, which I'll need later. Um, so um, I'm not buying anything. This was just a snow melt, and that takes us there. But I really don't care if I go there or not. I, I don't have 16 tons anyway. Codec and snow melt. Um, codec is way the hell up there. I don't have a map for that. Uh, except the um, snow melt. Leave. And this here. There's actually a ship that you can buy that you can ferry large, like go on cruises with people with. Like they uh, take them on a cruise. Starship liner. You have to actually uh, do uh, some missions for the uh, shipbuilder to be able to buy it, though. And on Snow Melt, which is a snow planet. And see what's in the mission, BBS. And the Aldebaran. No, I don't like Aldebaran, really. Uh, Adir. Where the hell is that? Oh, no. Outcast. That one's even worse. Our curse is not that bad. Harold in the Avalon. No, I am leaving and see what's at the Trade Center. Uh, metal. Not going to make me much, but let's buy it. And let's see what the map has for places that sell metal. And I don't think it's going to sell for anything less. Get out of its range. It ran out of missiles, and I'm out of its gun. No, it didn't have missiles. I don't know what it, I had to, decided to stop firing. Okay, Trade Center. It's still low. I didn't lose anything though, so I'm not worrying about it. Uh, but it gets me a different mission, BBS. Real to Hearth. Homeland is up there, which is even further out, which is a pain in the ass. Ryle is way the hell out. New England, I will do. This is a pretty good outfitter as well, particularly for things that uh, pirates like, like uh, pulse fusion cannons, and uh, the fact that you can actually buy like dockable ships. So, I mean, it doesn't look like it has a docking bay, which is hilarious. But yeah, um, I don't think I want an afterburner on this ship. There's no point. Oh, I have a hundred thousand. Well, let's see what. Uh, what ships are out there? Argosy is 250, so I don't have enough for that. Um, I'm not doing Anacore, and my Enterprise is even more. Thunderhead doesn't have the cargo capacity for it, and I'm not going pirate, so. And a Terrapin. Um, I can't afford it, but that would be what I would do with the. Um, I'm pretty close to the tar cargo ship I want, so the um, thing is, what you've got to realize is I need about uh, thirty thousand more than that to be able to uh, be able to put what I need on it. 
and to be able to have some cash to be able to uh, New Babylon that's up there it's actually a pretty safe run Esther Prinus will all I don't have the space but Hargan is somewhere else there uh, Klinke is not in the no uh, I guessed right. Shipyard, Terrapin, I, I can afford it right now, but again, don't have the... Uh, Sibco is up that way. I think that's actually a pretty safe run. Uh, one, two, three, four, done, except that. It's always nice to be able to be paid twice for whatever you do, so taking multiple missions is is nicer. But um, you will very rarely will get them. Well, not really. It's not completely impossible to get them, but you don't get them very often. So then we will go and see about landing, and I didn't plan that one very well. Okay, and mission BBS. Um, 17 tons, don't have 17 tons. Uh, New Babylon, and they, uh, that's just directly back where we were. I can accept that. Rother and Northerian, no. Tychel. Um, let's accept and leave map. Um, I'm gonna go looking for a um, a specific uh, uh, mission in a bit, like a, a quest, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. So um, one that generates at uh, Earth, it gets me fifty thousand. It's just a thing. The problem is that's a lot of reading, and I really don't feel like doing that. So, um, New Babylon, I think, is, yeah, that one. Okay, good, I have 56. Uh, a, a Terrapin use, that's the more expensive one. Has an afterburner, two solar, three battery packs. This one's 123. That doesn't leave me a whole lot. Serious system up there. I think that's actually pretty safe too. Um, shipyard, then we'll buy a Terrapin. Okay. Outfitter is going to be. Oh, yeah. Um, shipyard, I just want to see how many jumps it has. It has four jumps. Good. Um, Outfitter, we want to buy the Gravimax Centers, IFF, and Auto Recharger because those are much. I have 18,000 left. Um, I'm not doing that. I will buy for five jumps recharge. Okay. Um, and I have. I don't have any active missions. That was silly of me. Tau Prime is fine. I can take that. Done. Except. Oh, that was silly of me. Oh, that's a pirate. See, this is slower than the heavy shuttle was. So, this is going to be. Also, I don't have a solar panel, so I gotta be a little careful. So, see, there's the, the uh, Starliner. 
hot sucker there that you uh very passengers when you have it it's not actually all that lucrative but you know it's that uh, they make more uh, see this one makes me suspicious um oh that's why it's out there uh I think I'm going to accept that one. Leave, leave. Okay, well, let's set up my, my jumps. I'm jumping there, I'm jumping there, I'm jumping there, and I'm jumping there. Done! Get myself moving. Oh, good. There's a police cruiser. Yeah, it took them here. I'm not interested in any of their quests. They don't. All I'm doing right here is earning enough money to be able to uh, do the trade run I want with any efficiency. And there, luxury goods. Let's see what can get me close to that. Maxim is right there, apparently. Uh, three, four, five, done. Accept. Leave. Done. Leave. And most of these other systems, the biggest problem you'll have is getting into uh, fights with stuff. And that's a ca um can't remember what it's called, but You're not dangerous until you get to a certain part of the party. Storyline, so even then, they're not that bad. And let's land here. Okay, let's see what missions to Zion in the Enlightenment State. I will take that. And the nice bit about this is because they're both going there. I will take that as well. Yep. And let's go. I have 125 tons of cargo. Space, if any of you hadn't noticed. I am going to Zion. That's not Zion. That's Kismet. Land, please. And then one, two missions. Um, Genesis, um, that's one of the ones that's on the way out. Even in Elder Baron, that's a pain in the ass. Um, let's accept that one and leave. Um, ooh, luxury goods. Let's buy all that. Let's go to Seoul. Because that's one of the things you can sell on Seoul. This will do a good chunk towards... I can do an Opal's run. Luxury goods. Hi. I have 131,000. That's good. I am now going to start making more than I do on missions by trading. At the very least, I could just go back to that and make uh, probably about uh, 50,000 per trip. But I want more than 50,000. And I am going to Pyrogenesis 1. I think that is this. Yay. Um, to 
does it take do any of these? That one I don't think takes me anywhere near where I want to go. No. That doesn't either. Um, medical supplies. No, that's low on earth. Metal is... And I don't actually think I uh, think the metal is sold. Sold. So let's just leave. I'm going to jam again to do that. Uh, Opal tree run. This trade run better. I can t sell that uh, medium laser, and uh, and free up some space for maybe a cargo expansion. Trade center. And leave. Um. I don't have to actually do that, I just don't remember the keys offhand. I think it's Alt or Control to buy and sell in bulk. Once you have a bigger ship, like a bigger, stronger ship, you can do runs of um, bioweapons. And that's actually the best uh, trade run you can do in the game. So. And I have 200. And I see the thing is, I was just seeing if any of them. I could do a delivery to Viking, but I'm not. And I think that one is up here somewhere. Um, and you buy them and... Yeah, I forgot to set my... ...thing, which is fine, I wasn't too far out. See if I can pass close enough to jam. Yeah, too late. Very much too late. And what you can actually do is I could get an asteroids group and a uh, mining laser and go out and mine this stuff um, and get myself a lot more in the way of. Of cash and by selling it directly, but that's a lot of work, a lot of time, and it doesn't work quite as well as the um, the uh, trade route. So this is getting me enough uh, money to be secure for the next little while. all of them. I'm gonna risk the bar. Damn. Um, yeah, no, this one I'm saying no to. Because what they want to do is go to the contact system and they're only gonna pay me 50000 for it. But it's way the hell down here somewhere. Like I, I'm pretty sure there's probably another scroll over that I need to do on this map because this map is, if we look, really big and it actually uses probably most of that. Um, yeah, at least up to here and way the hell out some more that way. So 
no, I am not doing that because that is a ridiculously dangerous mission. And um, they'll re-offer it to me later, but I don't want to do it. It's a dangerous mission. Very dangerous. It's not worth it. Okay, so... Okay, and let's go to, and Trade Center. Opals. I'm going to do this quite a few times, so. Yeah, I hear you. I need to go that way, away from him. He's going to get some hits on me, though. Probably as I'm talking. Yep. I might have been able to take him. I wasn't willing to try. Until I get turrets, there's no point in, uh, in trying for any of that. And this, unfortunately, is going to be a fair amount of the next little while. 346. Um... Let's go down. I only need f two, four, so I don't, um, we're right. I want to go to Seoul. I'm going to sell that battery because I don't actually need it. Um, no. Maybe not. Let's see whether or not there's a star bridge there. Let's see if I can trigger the... No, I didn't trigger the shipyard. One. It's random. Starbridge used. Uh... Yeah, see, the thing is, I could buy this, but it has only 20 tons, so I can't do that run anymore. Um, it does do five jumps, so I could do some of the courier runs, but I'm making more money doing that the other way. See, I was kind of hoping I'd uh, trigger the, um, here's the deal, um, I, for the star bridge, I uh, need a heavy weapons license and a missile weapons license at least. So let's go see about doing that. Heavy weapons license is 5,000. Missile weapon license is 7,000. Um, 40, I don't need fire to bear. Capital ship, I want exotic. Exotic's 100. Uh, I probably can do that right now without affecting the other. Um, see, that's a million. I didn't think I could anyway. Uh, what have we got? Don't really want to. Uh, See, I don't think I want any of that. Uh, trade Center, there's nothing like medical supplies I can't do there. Um, let's do this run again. So, 
make the small turn and small jet and uh, and see if I can land on jam let us uh, buy opals uh, I want to actually have old when I'm done that um, and do the run again let's just zoom in a bit I want to be able to see the whole run I'm doing but I'd like to be able to see the names Probably start the Velos or um, missions. The problem is there's no guarantee when uh, when those are gonna come back to hit bite me. Um, let's see, none of those. Because I want to be fairly heavily armored when I and armed and armored when I do that. Jam. And, uh, back again. This, I know, is very boring to start off with, but it gets me my credit, uh, it credit my money so that I can be at least somewhat rich. I got to do things. Not having to worry about money when I'm running the uh, custom missions is a little nice. Let's land on Serenity. I'm just watching for a certain mission, by the way, in case you're wondering. Sorry. Um, I'm trying. I'm watching for uh, the mission that is the trigger for um, start of the Velos and the Pol the Polaris missions. Um, Cruiser. Theoretically, if I was carrying anything illegal, he'd scan me and uh, start firing upon me. And I'd have time to, once seeing him, to uh, drop whatever I was doing. But since I'm not actually um, doing anything wrong, let's go and. Uh, do my trade route again. I think the uh, bioweapons are illegal in um, in the Federation space, so doing that run is kind of uh, tricky. But I've never actually been scanned and, and had a problem with it. At least I don't remember. Ever having done so? And, uh, so all my own pools. And 
there's the trigger. This is the trigger for the start for the uh, Polaris and uh, Velos missions. It will appear again, but I think I'm going to start here. I'm going to accept that. And, um, go. And this is the beginning of either the Polaris or the, uh, Velos. I think it might even be the, uh, the trigger for the, um, yeah, see, hold on. See if we can get them to do that ship there. That's a Velos uh, ship. And um, he's basically here because this is the uh, beginning of this storyline. And let's land. A group of dock workers unloads the ship and some luxury goods from your cargo bay. You're a little surprised to see the traditional long hair and utility jumpsuits of a Velos coming towards you. The name is Velos looks at you oddly for a moment before smiling softly and walking away. And that's all that there is to that little bit of storyline. And uh, this is the point where I go and buy a Starbridge. If I could. Um, no, this is the point. Uh, I can't buy this. And it's, um, it's more than a Starbridge anyway. Uh, what do I need for it? Um, that's right, there is a capital ship's license, um, outfitter. Thousand. Um, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going back to my, uh, my, uh, my trade run, because I want to see how much I can make between when they get into it. I think I have to enter a bar to get the, uh, trigger the next step of it. I'm not mis- if I'm not mistaken. Um... It's definitely not a trade center. you because you fired off a good portion of your ammo stores to do that. Well, we'll take the uh, fairy pastures snowmelt because that is in the uh, same system. And, uh... again. Oh, yeah. Let's leave first and uh, go drop off those passengers. They don't normally ca carry weight. Um, yeah, see, none of the stuff that's here.
Alright, outfitter. Yeah, they really don't have much here. And I didn't pick up my opals, so I guess I best do that, right? Let's go and ferry passengers to Jem. That's where I'm going anyway. Let's do a few more. I really do want to have a fair amount of extra cash on hand so I don't have to worry about things like fueling and stuff. Oh, I guess setting my destination would be a good plan. And this is the, uh, that is the ca cargo ship, if I absolutely can, I want to, uh, own. Because that makes this go a heck of a lot faster. I have 750, that's enough for now for, uh, I want to go to Earth. I want to see if I can trigger off the uh, Sigma Shipyard's uh, missions before I um, get bigger ships. Before I um, and uh, those missions trigger from Earth. Crap. As you wander around the spaceport <coughs> after landing, you are slightly surprised to see the same Velos who walked past you as you were unloading your delivery, a delivery you made to Earth not so long ago. Greetings, Wilkie Ainsworth, he begins in an almost lyrical ancest, uh, accent. We have been keeping an eye on you, and has now reached a point where I have been given no choice but to approach you. Are, are you prepared to help us out? Something in his voice and the way the whole whole area seems to stand still tells you this is no simple request and you get a deep feeling of foreboding about the choices in front of you. You hesitate several moments before making a decision. Do you agree to help him? Uh, see this is a crossroads. This is where I decide whether I do the Velos or the, the Polaris missions first. And I think I'm going to do the Velos missions first. So yes I'm going to help him. Thank you, he responds sincerely after giving you a nod of acquiescence. You see, it's been nearly seven centuries since anyone has set foot on our homeworld. I was wondering if you could find it for me. We Velos can remember its exact location, but not the route to, to or from it. 
It would mean a great deal to all of us if you could bring us the news about its final fate, he tells you quietly. I cannot join you as I have business here, but I will be waiting for your return with great anticipation. With that, he turns around and walks away, leaving you wondering at the odd encounter. Okay, for this, I want a star bridge. Um, protective Technologies license. Fitter. Protective tech, I gotta buy that. Shipyard, I can buy this now. Uh, it's gonna leave with me 150. That's fine. Um, yeah. Buy ship. Starbridge. And what are we gonna call this? We are going to call this the Wander. Oh, taking off, off cap box. The Wanderlust. Okay. So, just as we're a statement, our um, jumps are 5, cargo is 30, and space is 40. Uh, turns very good, acceleration good. Um, it also has the ability to have two turrets, which, if I can afford it, which I know I can't, um, we're going to um, buy. Outfitter, uh, an auto eject, auto recharger, IFF, gravimatic sensors, as with all ships. Okay, um, we want to. Uh, you see the starbridge upgrade? Right, three, some reason. It's a Brussels ship, all of your outfits are your old model. They'll leave the standard fittings for the starburst type C. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to sell, sell, and sell. But I'm also going to sell, sell. Um, either do I, I need a heavy weapons license. Good, I can. Sell. Um, a starburst upgrade. Buy that. Charge. See, it gives me more hull and shield. Um, it also gives me three mini blasters, which, to be honest, I am going to sell, 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 and sell, sell, which gives me 60 tons, which gives me enough to buy, buy two medium turrets, which, to be honest, that's mostly what I want. Uh, uh yeah, if that's five by by um done uh that's good I am I'm good for seven jumps. I also have the uh the other um I have 20 free cargo, which is what I had before. Uh, 20 free cargo and 7 jumps. Um, see, uh, I'd like to put in this, but I don't have enough for that. Uh, oh, civilian IR jammer. That's useless. Let's buy that. I have enough for eight jumps. Hopefully that's enough to get where I need to go, which is up there. It should be. Mostly it's getting back that I'm concerned about. This is uh, a fast ship, comparably. I don't know if I can get enough money, which... Okay. Oh. Wow, I'm silly. Grab a max, etc. I have to put on a recharger. Um, yeah. Uh, see, I know there's one that gives you...
way it is, but we're gonna keep jumping until I'm halfway done. Yeah, see... The problem with this is now I'm not gonna get refueled at the end of it, so... This is not, was not smart. You're filled with sorrow at the sight of the dis destroyed world. You remember hearing the stories of the glorious fellow's home world, its amazing beauty. Looking you around, you cannot help but feel remorse at the actions of your predecessors. You wander around for as long as your bio suit will allow. As you get back into your beloved wanderlust, you slowly dry your eyes as the air lock cycles. And you remember the odd crypt pods you kept seeing on the way here. You resolved to ask your Velos friend about them when you return, if he's prepared to talk further after hearing the news of the dev devastation of his, uh, his homeworld. So, what we're going to do is we are going to sit here for a while. And I'm going to go get something to drink uh, while I wait, because what we're waiting for is our energy to peel up so I don't have to stop every system. So... I will be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and uh, I'm hoping this is enough to get me back. Oh, look, it is. I went the wrong way. Uh huh. So we didn't actually have to wait that long. I didn't even look at the map, but that's okay. Let's land again. See, the thing is, I'm not running at double speed, by the way, because if you haven't noticed when I'm flying up in this corner, there's a 2x. Um, it wouldn't be going this fast if it wasn't. 
Um, it's built into the game, by the way. You just hold cap, hit cap box and turn it on, and it works that way. Okay, so uh, that just refilled me. Uh, let's just see what in the way of outfits are here. See, I don't have enough money for that. It's annoying. No, oh, that's 15 tons of, um, of cargo space. Let's see, I know there's one that's a tweak for like five tons, but. Uh, Uh, yeah, so, um, down from on Corilla and Seoul, and let's go see the Bellas. You're not terribly surprised to see your Velas friend waiting for you when you land. I can see the devastation in your mind, he tells you sadly, and, and you are reminded that all Velos are powerful telepaths. We knew that the Colonial Council had destroyed it, but we had hoped that it might have recovered in uh, a little in the intervening years. I'm glad the Crypt Mind left you alone, he said with a mysterious smile. It always attacks every Velos that approaches it. For some reason, it leaves you hum humans alone. Anyway, he explains, after shaking him out of his reverie, it is imperative that you learn more about yourself. You must go and see my friend, uh, Flurin, who lives on New England, on New England in the Wolf 359 system. He isn't always around, but if you keep stopping by, occasionally you'll catch him eventually. After he walks off, we're, you're left with more questions than answers. What is this crypt mind? What is it you need to learn yourself? What exactly is going on? You resign to find this floor in and ask him as soon as possible. No, I don't. I don't resolve to do that. I resolve to um, go to the bar. Um, Sure. Yeah, this, I'm just going to explain this one because it's a lot of text. It's uh, this guy named Tunjo, and he's a big game hunter, and he wants you to take uh, people to a planet to hunt big game, and he's going to pay you 75000 for it. You tell him okay, and we go take his people. I've already been there. And the one we want to land on is this little one. It's not actually a planet. They take you out, they shoot up things, and everyone's happy. They pack up and get ready to leave. And we leave. And we go back to Earth. You can pause the video and read it if you want. This is the problem with this in the double things. So he unloads everything, you get paid. 75,000. <coughs> Always nice. Um, <coughs> I'd like to actually sell this and buy a, another sort of solar panel so the recharging occurs faster. Oh, I forgot I have my afterburner. That's actually useful for something here. Let's go see if we can trigger the shipyard one. Come on. Uh, 
I want to see if I can trigger the shipyard one. I want a big... Uh, I know there's an Outfitter one as well. It might trigger at uh, Tycle though. Oh, it might not trigger because I have a ongoing mission. <coughs> ongoing story mission. I should get free of it shortly to be able to uh, do other stuff. You're surprised to feel a tap on your shoulder as you exit your ship, and you turn to see uh, the traditional long hair of Avello standing some meters away for, off to your right, beckoning you over. Sorry to startle you, he apologizes hurriedly, hurriedly, but I do not have much time. I am Philrin. F L L Y. Philrin. Philrain. Uh, and I have felt. Uh, you on Laryl's thought f forms. You are the first non-Polish human has the potential of a very powerful te telepath, perhaps even a T-0. Let me explain, he says, obviously unaware of your confusion. Most humans are T-6s, only peripherally aware of the power of the mind. T-5s are capable of observing and influencing the thoughts of others. T-4s have the ability to produce phys uh, physical force using the minds alone, such as poking someone or uh, on the shoulder to get their attention. He waggles his finger at, at you, and he is about to continue when out from around the side of your ship bursts a group of four men and one woman, all clothed in black, carrying deadly looking black blasters. Is this him? asks the woman of Philrin, who nods sadly. Grab him. The four men jump on you, overpowering you in an instant, and you are led into the depths of a secure area of the spaceport while everyone around pointedly looks the, uh, the other way. Within minutes, you are anesthetized and put under the knife. When you wake up, you can feel a cold metallic lump attached to the back of your neck, and you know without moving that someone has been, uh, atta something has been attached to your central nervous system. Just so you know, no, you now work for us, comes the commanding voice of the female leader of the team who captured you. The device attached to the back of your neck was devised during the Velos War to enslave telepaths, and one has been attached to every Velos since. Now that you have been pacified, she continues dismissively, I am ordering you back to Earth to be trained by Lyrell. Uh, secondly, don't cut your hair ever again. Finally, you're not to buy any outfits or ships that are not Federation technology, and even then, only those that you that would not require a license. So it's good that I brought my uh, my Starbridge net before I did this. Um, 